Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a SQL challenge given by Data Frenchy and this is challenge number two. And this is for inventory sales. Okay, how many customers does not when traders have in each country? List top five cities most orders. Average right cost for orders shipped to each country of the customers and list the top ten countries by average right cost. Which products have a unit price higher than the average unit price of all products? Identify the top three customers by total order value, considering freight costs. Okay. Calculate the percentage of total inventory value, unit price, and the units in stock contributed by each supplier. And we have three tables. So the first is customers. We have customer ID, company name, contact name, contact title, city, postal code, and country. Okay, and then we have products, product ID, product name, supplier ID, quantity per unit, unit price, units in stocks, units on. Uh, just give me a. Okay, so units on order, reorder value discontinued. Okay. And then we have orders, order ID, customer ID, employee ID, order date, required date, ship date, ship via, freight, ship name, ship city, ship postal code, ship country. Okay. Now let's import this data set to our SQL server. All right. Let's import our data now. Let's ask. Import data. Mm, we are having an Excel file. So let's take it our location. And the destination is no, not this one. So it's overly DB to add it. Okay. Next, and we want all these three tables. Next, finish. All right, now let's check. So, refresh to this. Okay, so we have dollar sign, so let's remove the dollar sign. Okay. okay, now let's check the tables. So I'm pulling all the three tables we have. So the second one we have is orders and the third one we have is products. Uh, just to check that we have imported correctly or not. Now let's run all of them. Okay. All right, so what do we have here? So we have nulls and postal code. Okay. And we are also in postal code. And so we have this quantity per unit, which is not structured. Okay. All right. Let's check the questions now. Okay, so we have our first question. How many customers does Northwind Traders have in each country? So select so distinct <clears throat> customer ID and we need the count of it because we need total customers as total customers and we name each country how many customers in each country so country and then from 
customers group by country order by descend okay let's run this okay okay the second question states that list the top five cities with the most orders okay so select top five with the most orders okay so we would need ship city ship underscore city and then we need with the most orders okay so again we would do the same thing count distinct order id as total orders from orders drop by ship city Auto by total orders in descending. Okay, let's run this now. So the most orders are from Rio de Janeiro. Okay. Okay, now the third question is find the average freight cost for orders shipped to each country of the customers and list the top 10 countries by average freight cost. Okay, so we need to find the average uh, freight. Okay, so average freight cost, and let's round it to two, I guess, because that would be a big number as average. Right cost. Okay, and the countries. Okay, so it would be ship underscore country, and then from orders go by. Order by uh, average right cost in descending, so that we should know that which country has the average right cost. Let's try to run this, okay? And we need it to select top ten. Okay, so Australia has the highest average right cost. Okay, so now for the fourth question is which products have a unit price higher than the average unit price of all products? Okay, so first we would need to find the average unit price of all products. So let's see what it is. Select around average unit price. Um, products. Let's see what is the average unit price of all products. So it is 28.83. Okay. And now we need products which have a higher unit price than this. Okay. So select uh, unit price. So product. name from products where unit price is greater than my mistake 
is greater than this so let's close this in box and let's see now okay let's see the unit price as well so that we should know what the unit price is so our average unit price of all products was 28.83 all right let's move on to next question so the fifth question is identify the top three customers by total order value considering freight costs okay so, so like customer id and then sum of freight as total order value from customers as C and left chain orders as O or Okay, so customer ID is the primary key C dot is equals to dot customer ID and we will do a group by customer ID and order by the load of value to send in and then we will do job three and customer id is from customer stable and right is from order stable okay and c dot all right, let's run this. Okay, cool. So the last question is calculate the percentage of total inventory value, which would be calculated as unit price into units in stocks contributed by each supplier. So select supplier ID and then Unit price into units and stock to by hundred as inventory percentage from Products go by can do this go by supplier ID unit price and it's stock order by inventory percentage. Let's check this. Okay, and so what do we have most in stock currently? Okay. Alright guys, thank you very much.